Trifecta hosted by Chrissy. Today I'm participating in a challenge issued by Wani of Wani's House. Wani wants us to share our dirty little secret. The area of my home that I'm showing to you that has been neglected is one area that technically was not neglected, but I just could not seem to figure out a quick fix or anything that worked. It's my dreaded cabinet that stores our plastic containers. We can literally open that cabinet and containers will fall out on us. <laughs> we have purged the cabinet multiple times, but no matter what I do, nothing works. I think I may finally have found a solution. I'm going to share with you what my solution is for it. And it's fairly economical and we'll see how it turns out and maybe later in the season I'll share with you how it's going with my little system. So let me show you the before and after of my dirty little secret space. And before we get started, I am going to ask that you click that subscribe button down below. Leave a thumbs up for today's video if you like it. Leave any questions or comments you may have down below. And also feel free to share this video. I will also leave a link for the product that I'm using for this cabinet space. I'll let you know how it turns out at the end of the video. Stay tuned. This is my dirty little secret. This cabinet will only stay organized if I'm the only one that uses it. I did pick up an item to use as a remedy to help correct the situation and I'll reveal that piece to you and link the product down below in the description box if you'd like to purchase it. So let's go ahead and get started with the clean out. made by Revachelle. I purchased it on Amazon and I'll link the product down below in the description box. This piece was a great find. I do know that Revachelle makes another product specifically for the purpose of storing plastic containers but because of the way my cabinets are shaped below I'm not able to use that product. So let's go ahead and get started with this one and we'll see how it turns out. 